Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Travel Train. In today's video, I'm going to share Infosys latest interview experiences that has happened on 3rd September. Uh, actually, I have collected 13, 12 to 13 experiences in this video. I'll be sharing all of them with you. Some of them may be repeated. Don't mind, okay? Uh, the my main intention is to give you more is to give you exposure to more and more more uh, like you know interview questions okay and before the starting of the video i just want to tell you one thing the very important thing that you need to uh, prepare in infosys interview point of view is uh, of course self-introduction and about your project that is common but the main thing they will be asking mostly is about oops about hdlc and even in sql also some basic things they will be asking okay so oops is you know like it has become a common question like how uh, tell me about yourself and project the third question is oops like it has become so much common question so prepare about oops okay so the first interview here you can see introduction project oops sdlc right and sdlc you know guys sdlc is a very good concept if you really if you are asked about sdlc you know you can really explain very well because sdlc is more of theoretical and it has some steps right so first what happens requirement gathering requirement gathering phase we will be gathering all the requirements according to the customer specifications like that you can say you can you can really explain it in a very 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 better way okay so where the interviewer will get a really very good impression on you done next introduction again a project what is the difference between c and c plus plus oops concepts java concepts what do you mean by function overloading one scenario what difficulty you have in project and how you overcame that and one more thing infosys will not have two separate interviews technical and hr okay like accenture we have only one interview in accenture now in infosys also only one interview both technical and hr will be tested in that one interview only next the third is okay this person did not say anything dbms asset property normalization joints why to use dbms okay introduce yourself your hobbies major project skill mentioned in your resume and one more thing infosys people know they will be looking at your resume and they'll be asking most of the questions from your resume itself even uh, other companies also will be looking at your resume for me in my point of view uh, you know apart from uh, technical questions and all uh, in my resume i mentioned about my youtube channel so he asked me more about my youtube channel only and yeah about java the basics of python the basics of python again no don't get panic if you have mentioned python in your resume or if you tell in, in your self introduction if you say that i'm currently working on python i'm currently learning python then only they will ask you until and unless they'll not ask you don't worry and one code swapping of two numbers and anything about to ask they will be focusing on project which we have done so the main concentration should be on your project and the first thing is you have to prepare well tell me about yourself uh, i'm just telling about myself for that also should i prepare don't go in that way because you're not introducing yourself to a friend or a cousin or a relative right you're introducing to the interviewer it has to be professional it has to be formal okay and the next interview it went for 20 minutes first id proof check obviously so before the start of the interview only have your id with you and introduction uh, the project knn why knn algorithm is asked here don't get confused because the project so in the, in his project or her project maybe they have used knn algorithm so that is the reason why knn algorithm he asked and image recognition difference between relational and non-relational database so what is relational database we use tables so in non-relational database instead of tables what do we use so you need to know that difference oops pillars you know the four concepts of oops sdlc again the very common question agile so now agile nowadays we are listening this word a lot right and what is the difference between agile and sdlc joins constraints redundancy primary key why we have to use join see everything is so many questions are related to sql here right one two three four almost five questions are related to sql and do you have a laptop then and next introduce yourself again strengths and weakness so your major project in some cases they are asking about both major major and mini projects so be careful about project if you are having a problem in project and how do you overcome that and what is your role in the project sdlc oops so again i said sdlc oops sdlc oops you know it is like a very common question after for first is self introduction second is project third is sdl third is oops fourth is sdlc these four things have become really very common okay so don't forget to learn them next again show me your id tell me about yourself 
final project so what did you prepare for interview he asked oh that's good actually so he, he said and tell me a data types or sorry data structures types of data structures and what is python is python dynamic type language and how to convert into float in python and sdlc again do you have any questions for me again introduce yourself what is your favorite subject oops data structures arrays and pointers are you willing to relocate and about night shifts so obviously you should say yes and next difference between primary key and unique key what if you are having a job offer from other company with higher package so very diplomatic question right we cannot say no we cannot say yes for this and do you have any work experience and for sorry for the spelling there code to write any program you like okay any program you like oh this is this seems very interesting actually so the next is again self introduction about your project rate yourself in java that's good actually what is the process of sdlc again very 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 common question is dlc so rate yourself in python so uh, see about infosys what do you know about infosys or why do you want to join infosys for these kind of questions also you should be prepared okay and do you have 8 gb ram laptop any questions for me okay the next is duration is 15 minutes okay then self introduction again what is os okay this is one you know os what is os is not very frequently asked question but still we can manage to say what is operating system even if we go to the uh, interview without preparation right you can say like interface between the user and the hardware like that and the next is oops again what is switch what is difference between if and switch what is difference between the oops concepts in c++ and java very interesting question actually you can say about you know inheritance so java does not support some type of inheritance you can explain about that like that what did you learn from your graduation specialization okay uh, do you know java and what is the syntax of switch statement again you can say switch case like that breaks um, and they may ask you why do you have to use break what happens if you don't use break like that tell me about your project uh, apart from main project yeah apart apart from major project about any other project he's asking simply you can say about your mini project okay um, some questions from the project that you have done and what is the role in your project what did you do in that okay next again same self introduction again about project yeah again one more different question about header files in c so what are the different header files we have if you don't know about so many header files stdio and conio are very common right string so even if you don't know about string also stdio and conio are very common right you can say about at least both of them instead of sitting silent and pointers in c can we write a program using uh, pointers um okay general question like if you're selected for this job what is the first thing that you do and do you have a laptop with stable internet connection okay done next tell me about yourself about your project again questions on project oops sdlc see again oops sdlc compute laptop with 8 gb ram and do you have any questions for me so that's all for this video i th i think uh, i'm sorry if the video is very long but still since i have collected so many so many so many interview experiences uh, it has become long actually what i thought is uh, by taking all this you know this uh, tell me about yourself and sdlc oops are being repeated for these many times now uh, I, I just thought of combining all of them together but the thing is if we combine all of them together no you guys will feel like um you you'll get a doubt whether this is these are all are re, uh, real questions asked or not so that's why i have just you know as it is i have copy pasted them and i am showing it to you in the video so thanks for watching the video till the end and if you're still having any doubts apart from what i've uh, said in this video and if i can uh, still collect more interview experiences i'll definitely collect and i'll definitely post it in my channel uh, so that you can watch them and all the best for your interview don't panic be cool chill First, prepare about how to tell about yourself, your project, hoops, STLC. Just, just calm down, okay? So that's all for this video and thanks for watching the video till the end.